So we know that in JavaScript, when you declare a variable, let's say we want a number i equals 10, you know, we can't do this, right? Everything is a var or a let, depending on the situation. Uh, it's like auto in C++. The type will be inferred. And this can be kind of annoying. So let's say if we have function add, which will just add two numbers. Uh, you know, we can't do like number A, number B, and specify the return value, right? So if we use it, so if we use um, add and then, you know, I don't know. <laughs> we put some strings into add. It doesn't doesn't actually show any error because well it works for any type. So I guess uh var let return. So let's try this I guess. So yeah. So it will add the strings, I guess, <laughs> which kind of works, I guess. But what if we you know, do something like this? String C. <laughs> okay. Okay, I guess. Uh, I don't know. But uh, you don't really want this. In a lot of situations, you don't want your function to work with any type. You just want it to work with one type and return one type. In this case, we want the function to return the number from adding a and b, which are both uh, supposed to be numbers. But uh, as we can see, it doesn't show any errors here. So is there a way to somewhat fix this problem? Well, kind of, we can use some special comments. So at the top of your file, I think you need this uh, add ts check and it will just tell the IDE that you want TypeScript like type checking in JavaScript. And for our function, we can use a thing called JSDoc where we will document the types for our functions or variables and the IDE will be able to type check our functions and variables since the JavaScript itself can't have types. So you can Google it, but it goes something like this. So if you have a variable, you can do type something and then the type of the variable and then the variable name. But in this case, since we are documenting the parameter of a function, we can use param. Again, you can Google it, but uh, well, in this case, we want number a param number b at return uh, number. And now since we have specified our types, when we try to use a string as the a, the first argument, it's not gonna work. It's gonna complain that string is not a number as we have specified here. Another nice thing is we can get all the member functions for string. Since we have specified that flag is a string. Whereas if we didn't, uh, if we do this, we can't actually, you know, get all the member functions with dot. We need to do something like this and then we can get the member functions. Well, sometimes it can without the JS doc if we actually have a string. So it can actually know that flag is a string, but in this case we couldn't because it could be anything. But yeah, hopefully that was useful.